ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚಿಕಿಪಾಸಿಂದುಭ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವಿ ಕೇಶವಸ್ಯಕ್ತಿಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತ್ತಾತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪನತಪಾಲಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರ್ಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿಜೀತಕಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಖಿಂ ಕರುಷ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬೋಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕಾಲಹ ಕಲಿರ್ವನೀನ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ವೈದಿ ಭರ್ಗ ಭಕ್ತಿವತ್ ಇಹೋ ಕಂಠಕ ಕೋಠಿ ರುದ್ಧ ಹಾ ಹಾ ಕೋ ಜಮಿ ಕಿಮ್ ಅಹಂ ಕರೋಮಿ 
चैतन्य चंद यदि ना आदम किफम करोशे कालह कलिर बलिन इंद्रिय वैरी वर्गा भक्तिपद इहो कंठ को कोठि रुद्ध हा हा क जामे की महम करो मे चैतन्य चंद यदि ना आदम किफम करोशे गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर पहुपा जगदगुरु टोल माय गुरु बात मंदुभ परमांस आचार्य श्री गौर किशोर दत्त बाबाजी महाराज गिविंग मी सो हाई एसोसिएशन दैट आई डोंट फील इट नेसेसरी टू डू गो फॉर एनी अदर एसोसिएशन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट माई गुरु पाद पद्म परमंग चाचा जोशील गौर किशोर दत्त बाबाजी महाराज गिविंग सच ए हाइस्ट एसोसिएशन हाई एसोसिएशन सो प्योर एसोसिएशन आई एम गेटिंग बाई इज मर्सी दैट आई नेवर फील एनी टेस्ट टू गो फॉर अदर एसोसिएशन दिस इज फैक्ट If you are really, if you are really doing satsanga, surely you cannot feel any taste for asasanga. So naturally, both satsanga and asasanga going at a time is impossible. All preliminary stage you can go when you get the actual taste of satsanga, you can never try to get asasanga. Sila Gaur Kishore Baba Ji Maharaj giving instruction to Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada that my Prabhu, don't go to Kalir Brahmanda, don't make any disciple and don't do any association. Prabhupada speak, speaking, I am going to follow my Guru Padma in total. Somebody can say you are going to Calcutta. Is Kalir Brahmanda? Papa speaking. No, I am not going to Calcutta. I am going to Gauriya Math, a Prakita Vaikuntha Angan. I am going to into the you know in Gauriya Math. They are a a Prakita Hari Katha Kirtan going on continuously. There I am going to participate in that Hari Kirtan Hari Katha. I am not going in Calcutta. I am not making any disciple. All they are by Guru Varga. A pure devotee, a Paramahansa devotee can never think that they are my disciple. All my Guru Varga. I am learning from you all. And the third one I already told you. Sila Sachidananda Bhakti Mantra speaking. भगवान दास बाबा जी महाराज भगवान दास ना दैट कालना भगवान दास बाबा जी महाराज भगवान भगवान दास वन डिबोटी इज फ्रॉम बराहनगर कैलकाटा ही इज इन बराहनगर कैलकाटा हिज नेम इज श्याम मंजूरी श्यामा मंजूरी श्याम मंजूरी हिज नेम Bhakti Mantra was speaking. Actually, outside people can say that we are living in Calcutta, but actually we are not living in Calcutta because Calcutta, Bhagwan Gauriya Mission, Gauriya Mart, they are established. Popat one day speaking, Gauranga Mahaprabhu in course of his Sankirtan Jagya coming here. With all devotees sitting here, the place where Gauriya Math was constructed and installed. Baba speaking, this is the place. What I mean to say, Calcutta is also Gaur Mandal. Come within the area of Gaur Mandal. Gaur Mandal means Gauranga Mahapur going different place is also going to Calcutta. To that place, Bhakti Mantra was speaking. We are under the guidance of Sam Monjuri. We are always 
taking the advantage to do Harinam Sankirtan, Harikatha. Harikatha, Harinam Sankirtan. When Gauranga Mahaprabhu reaching there in Barahanagar, Padbari, at present, the Sahajiya, they are going to capture that place. Papa speaking, uh, when Gauranga Mahaprabhu reaching there, Bhagavan Das was not busy to do arati with, you know, fire this, that. When Gauranga Mahaprabhu reaching that Barahanagar Sephat, Barahanagar Sephat, there, there, Bhagavan Das, he was not ready to do arati. He was doing arati with Harikatha Kirtan. He started glorifying Bhagavan. Bhagavan was very satisfied. So out of all archan, Harikitan, Harikatha is topmost. Out of all Jagya, Harikatha Kirtan is topmost. Out of all astrology and finances, Harikatha is topmost. Harikatha is all. Harikatha is Parikram. Why you say that? Because, because by the instruction of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, by the instruction of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Prabhupada was bound to install Daiva Varnasram. Prabhupada wanted to install Dham Parikram. Prabhupada wanted to, you know, serve Dham, this Navadip Dham. This way, Bhakti Thakur, before leaving this body, Sila Sachidanda Bhakti Thakur, before you know, leaving this material world, anyway, he was not in material world, I am speaking this, giving three instructions to Prabhupada. You must arrange Dham Parikram for the benefit of all bonded soul. You must Serve dham big way all the time. A dham you can serve, and we you can try to establish doiva varnasram. By the est establishment of doiva varnasram, those wicked, you know, those who are very very dirty men, they like to insult Guru Vaishnav. That Bangshi Das Babaji Maharaj has taken birth in a Fisher family. They are going to insult Gaurkishar Bhajima, he has taken birth in a Vaishya family. This way, insult. So, Bhakti Thakur told, Bhakti Thakur gave instruction to Baba, it is a prior necessity. It is a very important prior necessity. Otherwise, those who are wicked men, those who are dirty men, idiot, they can try, they can take the advantage to insult pure Guru Vaishnav. So, it is a, it is a prior necessity. We will have to do it. And Dham Parikram is the topmost, you know, topmost, you know, procedure through which bonded soul can be delivered. Dham Parikrama is the easiest way. Dham Parikrama is the topmost way out. Dhamma, Dham Parikrama is the topmost way, especially Navadip Dham Parikram. Because Navadip Dham going to excuse you. If you make some mistake in Navadip Dham, Navadip Dham can excuse you. But Vrindavan Dham cannot excuse you. You cannot get excused. Radharani cannot make any compromise with Radharani Kema never can make any compromise with, with your dirty behavior. She cannot compromise. But the Gaur Dham, is more excellent in the sense, more excellent in the sense, Prabhupada Saraswati are writing, the Navadip Dham is more, why? Because it's going to excuse you, Navadip Dham. This way, Dham Parikram facility, Dham Parikram facility we are enjoying by the mercy of pure Guru Vaishnava, 
And if we can take advantage of Dham Parikram, under the guidance of pure devotee, under the guidance of pure devotee, under the guidance of pure devotee, if you can do Dham Parikram, you can get result. Because for five, seven days, those bonded souls, they have the scope to come here in Dham. Here, Harikatha continuously taking prasadam. Papad giving facility, na? all facility bonded. Anyway, money is not a big issue. You can give something, don't it? you cannot give, that's up to you. It's not a big issue. So if you can do Dham, Dham Parikram, you have the scope to stay with sadhu, because those sadhu, they are staying with you all the time. You are also taking shelter. That day I was speaking, our Vaikhanas Gosei Maharaj, eh? he coming to take advantage of sadhu sangha, he is taking shelter under a mango tree. No place there where to go. A mango tree is very nice. Nobody is going to disturb. Continuously hearing Harikatha from Popat or all big, big exalted devotees to give the facility of satsanga. To give the facility of satsanga. Because nothing more important than satsanga. Nothing more important than satsanga. Nothing more important than Guru Vaishnava Seva. Nothing more important. So, to give this kind of scope to bonded souls, Popat, Bhakti Thakur, they wanted to arrange Dham Parikram, everything. For seven days, five days, they are staying, doing Dham Parikrama, taking prasadam, everything. So, very important thing. Even if you have no clear idea about Dham Tattva, even if you have no clear idea about Dham Tattva, still, Knowingly, unknowingly, if you are doing parikram and hearing harikatha, you can get benefit, hundred percent. Why? Because dham is nitananda tattva. Why I am going to emphasize this point? Why I am going to put so much pressure on this point? Because dham tattva is nitananda tattva. Dham tattva is baladev tattva. Baladeva Bhagavan taking the form of Dhamma. From Baladeva Bhagavan, Shandini Shakti, Prakatita Nijajan, all paraphernalia, all devotees, all Dham, Bhagavan, all were from coming. From Balaji Maharaj. Balaji Maharaj giving us facility. Krishna not giving us facility. Krishna is very clever. Krishna not giving facility. Follow. Whenever we are going to buy one mud pot, you know mud pot, mud pot, you know, to take water. What do you know? You know, mud pot, what do you do? Mud pot taking. After that, we are, you know, we see. Because there is any crack, if we can understand. We are going to buy one mud pot, everything, with one stick, we are going to tuck, tuck, tuck. If there is one crack, the sound is totally different. Krishna is so clever. He likes to, you know, test you. Tuck, tuck, tuck. It's okay, no fault, then Krishna can take. But Balaji Maharaj is not thinking that way. Balaji Maharaj is so merciful, so merciful, even for idiot like me, Balaji Maharaj likes to guess. Even like Durjadhan. Balaji Maharaj thinking about Durjadhan. Hey, my God. Durjodhan is so wicked, so... Huh? Durjodhan, even from, even from Durjodhan, Balla, you are thinking, how to give benefit to him. This is called Balla Tattva. So, Balla, you are giving us all this kind of facility. So, Balla, you Maharaj, you know, all Dharma, Shahashrapat, Shahashapatta Kamalam Gokulaksham Mahatpadam Tat Karanikaram Tat Anantanksha Sambhavaha. In Brahma Sangeet it is seen, it is Ananta Amsa Sambhavaha. The Dham is the manifestation 
of Shandini Shakti. Don't make any mistake regarding Adhyaya and Tattva. Badanti tat tatta vidam sattam yad jnanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavani ti sabdhati. Regarding adhyaya and tatta, if you make mistake, you can never come out successful in bhajan. You can go on doing bhajan. Waste your time. Adhyaya and tatta mean bhagavan, bhagavan nam, bhagavan, bhagavan nam, bhagavat paraphernalia, bhagavan all devotees. Bhagavan Nam, Bhagavan Dham, Bhagavad, you know, paraphernalia, all Bhagavad Leela, all non-different from Bhagavan. Mahaprasad, all non-different. One tattva. One different mean? One different mean? Simul simultaneously, simultaneously, those devotees, Dham, you know, the devotees, paraphernalia, those Dham, Simultaneously, you know, same, different and non-different. So, Adhyayagana Tattva, if you understand, then you can do bhajan perfectly, otherwise not. So, you should remember always, don't try to commit any aparad knowingly or unknowingly. But unknowingly if I do, unknowingly if you do Dhamma aparad, it is also dangerous. Aparad knowingly, unknowingly. If you do apara, knowingly or unknowingly, still it is dangerous. But still, there is Gaurdham going to give us some facility, extra kipa. Gaurdham, I mean Navadivdham. So, Balaji Maharaj coming in the form of, you know, dham. The sloka I recite from Srimad Sima, Brahmo Sangita. There it is written, Sahasa Patra Kamalam Gokulaksham Mahatpadam. This sloka here is written that Balad Balaji Maharaj is Dham, Dham Tattva. That day I was speaking that basically we can, basically we can do Bhagavat, basically. Basically, we know, we know Bhagavad Sakti is infinity, but still, but still can be divided into three parts. The infinity, Bhagavan is, you know, Bhagavan is resting with infinity Shakti. But still, categorically, we can divide into three parts. One is Shandhini Shakti, another is Shambhit Shakti, uh, still another is Ladini Shakti. Ladini Shakti going to give nourishment to devotees. Ladini Dare Kare Bhaktir Poshan in Bengali. Ladini Dare, by the help of Ladini Shakti, Bhagavan going to give you, care you. You know, like mother, mother going to care you, na, small baby. So, Bhagavan is going to get care. Bhakti Devi is going to get. So, the Ladini Shakti, Ladini Shakti going to give some kripa to you, Ladini Shakti. Because without enjoyment, without enjoyment, it cannot do anything. If you are not getting enjoyment in hearing Harikatha, if you are not getting enjoyment in doing Harinam, if you are not getting en enjoyment in, you know, Kirtan, Dhamparikram, no facility. So, that Ladini Shakti, Ladini Shakti is going to back you up. Ladini Shakti, because in the whole universe, nobody likes to do anything without any enjoyment. All monetary development, all your physical development, physical enjoyment, monetary enjoyment, all what you do, whatever, love, puja, patisha, everything, all for your self-gratification, for enjoyment. So ultimately, we, you, can, you can find it is in the form of money, in the form of woman or man. 
But ultimately going to give, you can think very clearly, what is the ultimate goal? What is the utility of mind? To give you enjoyment. What is the utility of man or woman? To give you enjoyment. What is the property, what is the utility of land and property, everything? To give you enjoyment. So nobody is going to do even a mosquito. Even a mosquito, if not going to get enjoyment, cannot do anything. So it is written in Shastra that even one, you know, foolish people he is also aware about his own enjoyment. Foolish people also very aware. So ultimate goal is enjoyment. But this Ladini enjoyment, Ladini Shakti going to give us enjoyment is called positive enjoyment. Enjoyment related to Bhagavan, Dham, Nam, Harinam, Kirtan, everything. But that Ladini Shakti is a shadow, the shadow of Ladini Shakti coming here in the material world. Then we become busy with enjoying mood. Follow. That Ladini Shakti there in transcendental world coming in, in the material world in perverted form. So we are busy with enjoying with woman, man, everything. Follow different kind of enjoyment here. Ladini Shakti in perverted form. Bhikkhito. And that Shangbit Shakti going to give you your idea, what is your relationship. Many times we told, without discovering relationship, why? Don't forget. Without discovering your relationship, how you can say, I have taken Diksha. Without discovering any relationship with Bhagavan, Dham, Nam, how you can claim that I have taken Diksha? Because the meaning of Diksha is to develop Samandha Gyan. If by hearing Harikatha, if you can develop Samandha Gyan, what wrong in it? No problem. But still you will have to take Diksha. I am not speaking like Sahaja. Harinam can give perfect benefit to you. If you have 100% belief in Harinam, that's why it is written in Chaitanya Jita Mito, you need Diksha Purascharan Vidhi Apeksha No need of taking a Diksha, but you will have to take Diksha. This condition is there, if you have 100% belief in Harinam, that Harinam is itself complete, right. Harinam is itself complete, but for bonded soul, Diksha is a must. I cannot say you cannot take Diksha. A special case, when by Harinam you can get success. Otherwise, in general, not. So, Ladini Shakti, when coming, you know, shadow of Ladini Shakti coming in material world, this is called enjoyment, material enjoyment. Shangbit Shakti in this transcendental world, you can feel my Krishna, my Krishna, my Krishna. Krishna thinking, my mother Jasuda. Jasuda thinking, Jasuda thinking, my son Krishna. This kind of relationship, I mean, tremendous loveful relationship is grown by Sangbi Shakti. If there is no Sangbi Shakti, you cannot develop relationship. And that Sangbi Shakti, when coming in perverted form, here in the material world, then you become busy to love your material son. Oh, my son! Oh, my husband! A material, material listen. That Shangbi Shakti coming in perverted form, I mean, shadow of that Shangbi Shakti, can give you a wrong idea. If you can grow strong relationship with Guru Vaishnava, I can promise you that is this life your last life. You can come out successful. But if you can develop your strong relationship with your father, mother, son, daughter, wife, I cannot give a guarantee. Because their relationship, you are going to give, you are going to you are going to grow relationship with them. This relationship can take you to hell. And that relationship with Guru Vishnu Bhagavan, that's why you can remember I told you now, Devahuti. Devahuti speaking to Kapilji. 
Devahuti is speaking to Kapil, mother Kapil. Devahuti is speaking to Kapil. I know. That I am fallen into Tama. You please save me. Prapanya Andham Tamaha Prabhu. Hey Prabhu, now not speaking son. Now not speaking whole son. Not Prabhu, you are Bhagavan. What to do? You please save me. All sense organ, Devadhi speaking. All my Devadhi speaking, all my sense organ going to demand, all my sense organ going to demand respective item. Eyes going to see dirty thing. My ear like to hear all dirty thing. My nose like to get bad smell. Not chandan and puspa for into not that smell. So this way, Devaut is speaking, mother crying, mother crying and speaking that I am fed up. I am just fed up. The all sense organ re demanding respective respective theme. And by that, you know, I am supplying them, but up to now, I am up to now, I am not getting any satisfaction. All respective organs, sense organ, nibritta nitaram bhuman. What question? Remember, don't forget. If you like to get Amrita this life, I can promise you, then you try your best. Do or die. Devahut is speaking to Bhagavan Kofiji. Nibritta nitaram bhuman asadindiya tarsanat jeno sambhasya maneno prapanyandham tamaha prabhu. I am fed up. Those sense organs are going to put me into fire again and again. I am supplying. What do you need? Oh, nice food. Meat and fish, everything, wine. Okay, I give. I am not speaking that Devahuti want to, he was habituated to take wine. Not, I am in general, I am speaking. Material people, they are demanding. Going to bar, restaurant, dancing, you know, getting enjoyment. But those idiot people don't know. This is not enjoyment. This is not enjoyment. Nibritta nitaram bhuman. Nibritta nitaram bhuman. O bhuman. He bhuma purush. He bhagavan. Nibritta nitaram. I am fed up of it. Nibritta nitaram bhuman. Asatindya tarsanat. By the thrusty mood of all sense organ. Now I am fed up. I you know, requesting you, Nibritta Nitaram Bhuman Asadindya Tarsanat Jeno Sambhasya Maneno. You are doing satsanga or satsanga. You can come to me, I can, I can talk with you in two minutes. I can understand. Even without talking, you can remember, you can ask him. One devotee, he used to hear Harikatha in Chaitanya Guru at Calcutta. Foreign devotee. Well, he used to love me. Continue Harikatha. Now for a long time in Vindavan. That day he came to meet me. When I look at him, when he gone, I told him he's fallen. You can ask him, I told him. He wanted to give me 500 rupees. But I, no, no, no. He forcefully liked to give me. I told him he's fallen. By looking. One or two words, I can see the mood and understand what condition there. You will have to also understand. Otherwise, we cannot give protection to you. You will have to rely on Guru Vaishnava. If you have strong relationship, loveful relations with Guru Vaishnava, that is the only way you can protect yourself. You cannot protect yourself. You are very weak. So, Nibrita Nitaram Bhuman Asadindya Tarsanat Jeno Sambhasya Maneno Prapanyandham Tamaha Prabhu. I am falling into Tama. You please arrange. Then Kapilji Maharaj speaking. Then Kapilji Maharaj speaking. 
Shango jo sangsriter heto ho asasubhito dhiya. Without association, nobody can live. B, remember, tomorrow I can clarify this point. Without association, nobody can live. But I am not doing. No, you are doing association. In mentally, you are doing association. I know. You are doing mental association. Without association, nobody can live. Either directly or mentally. Association is a mark. And your development of bhajan, progress of bhajan can depend upon this, you know, thing, vital, one point. Kapilji Maharaj speaking, Sango ja sangsete reto asasvito dhiya. If you, are, if you are going to do association with some bonded soul in the form of Acharya, in the form of, you know, sadhu, speaking Harikata, you don't know. But perfect sadhu, those are very powerful. They can talk, they can hear one word. Long distance, from long distance. Suppose they are Harikata going on, by over mic, material Harikata. <laughs> Immediately can understand, material Harikata. Harikatha coming from heart, they can understand. You cannot make fool of them. So, anyway, without, without, without Sangha, without Sangha, maybe you are going to lock your room inside. Maybe you are going to lock your room inside and say inside. Still, I can say you are doing Asas Sangha. You are laughing. 100%. It's a must. You are locking your room, but you are doing asasanga. That day, you can come out successful to ensure 100% asasanga. I mean, I cannot find any gapping inside your mind. What kind of gapping? And that gapping, one fraction of second you are doing asasanga. When I cannot find, then I can say you can come out siddhi. 100%. Follow what I say. If you are not going to give any gapping, but impossible, Maharaj, you are speaking, who is going to hear you? I know, I know, in the whole world, one, two, three, four, who can hear me? You can say, Maharaj is mad, really I am mad. That's why I am speaking that way. I am crazy. That's why I am speaking this way. So this way, all your bhajan progress depend upon satsangha. So, Kapilji Maharaj speaking, Sango ja sangsete hetu ho asasya bhito dhiya. Material mind always doing asasangha. Asat mean? Asat mean not aprakito, material. Always doing. Sango ja sangsete hetu ho. And that can throw you into the ocean of material ocean. The Asasanga, after your death, eh, you live hundred years, I bless you. But what I say, when you are going to leave body, you, you can, you can, you know, Maya Devi can again throw you into the ocean of Maya. After living body. So living body is not solution. Because you are doing Asasanga. When you can ensure hundred percent Asasanga, then I can give a guarantee. Then no question, this is your last birth. Whereas in Jagannath Puri Ratha Yatra, there it is written in Baman Puran. Ratha Rura Bamanam Drishtva Punar Janmam Navidvate. Ratha Ruram. When you see Jagannath in the chariot, this is your last birth. You need not take birth. But I say, when you look, when you look Jagannath Jagakaliya, when you look Jagannath in chariot, one by one glance, if you have right perfect darshan, this is your last part. Ratha Ruro Bamanam Drishta Punar Janmam Navidvate. You need not take birth. Otherwise, you are, you know, put, you are already put into cyclic order. Again take birth, now your father and mother are there. Again you are taking birth, your father and mother are there, all oh, father and mother. Even monkey, they have also father and mother. So what is the utility of your father and mother? Eh? 
What is the utility? If father and mother are not going to engage you in bhakti, exchange relation, bonded condition. There is, you know, without any reaction inside heart, if you can do something, uh, because you have no other way, that is, you know. So, Sankarajaja is speaking. Our Jagadananda Prandi is doing parikram. I can come to the point today. You know, how Jagadananda Pandit was advised by Mahaprabhu to do parikram. What is the procedure? So, you are going to run the risks. You are going to run the risks to take birth again. I have nothing to do. Because you cannot ensure 100% satsanga. That is the problem. Punarapi jananam, punarapi maranam. Punarapi matri jathare swayanam. You are going to take the risk to take birth again from one mother. Punarapi jananam, punarapi mananam. Punarapi matri jathare swayanam. You have to take birth. This is your punishment. So, this way I already clarify. There is Sambit Shakti, I already speak. Shandini Shakti means, Shandini Shakti, all eternal devotees present there, internal world, they are all Sandini Shakti, eternal. They are eternally present. They are eternally present. They are. All Bhagavan, Krishna, Sudam, Sidam, Vasudam, all they are eternally present. Follow, Nando just eternally present. And there is so many secret Siddhanta. There is a Sadhan Siddha Jasudama, Sadhan Siddha Nanda Baba, Sadhan Siddha Shubal Siddha is different. I am not speaking. Eternally present there. How it is possible, someday you can understand. So this way, Sandini Shakti means all Dhamma is Sandini Shakti. Dhamma is manifestation of Sandini Shakti. All eternally present, all uh, devotees of Krishna, I mean, Parshad of Krishna or Sandini Shakti, Pakadita Nijajan, those who are eternally present. So, Sandini Shakti, all the pillow, all the pillow of Bhagavan, Sandini Shakti, all the throne in which Bhagavan is sitting, is all Anna, all the skirted, Balaji Maharaj in the form of skirted. All in the form of cars. All the building. I mean the temple where Krishna is saying all the manifestation of Baldaji Maharaj. So without Baldaji Maharaj, not possible. Everything. And at the same time, that Baldaji Maharaj again. Baldaji Maharaj giving us so many facility. At the same time, Baldaji Maharaj coming in the form of Guru to speak Harikatha. You see. How miracle! Baldaji Maharaj standing so many things. After that, still Baldaji Maharaj not satisfied. He coming, he himself coming in the form of Guru. You come to me, here Harikatha. Love you. This way giving you affection, love, to help you to make progress in bhajan. Baldaji Maharaj coming. All Guru Tattva Baldaji. So what not? Everything. What not? Everything Baldaji Maharaj. Only Krishna having one thing, that is called willpower. Krishna preserve one thing, that is called willpower. By Balaji Maharaj. So Balaji Maharaj coming in the form of Dhamma, everything. Follow. So we are so lucky. We are getting the facility to do Dhamma, Parikrama, everything. Dhamma Tattva, so many secret things about Dhamma Tattva. About Dhamma Tattva, I like to touch so many things. So you see, in Brahma Sangita it is written, it is just like, it is just like lotus flower. It is just like lotus flower. Inside the core of that lotus flower, lotus flower, there is, inside the core, there is called, Vrindavan, Brajadam. 
It's called Vindavan. Just outside Mathura Dham. Again, still just outside, it's called Daruka Dham. It's called Golok Dham. It's called Golok Dham. In Golok Dham, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is resting there and Gauranga Mahaprabhu, is Lila, is just appendix, you know, appendix, appendix. Gaur Purnim day, I can explain this point. Not at a time, otherwise confusion you can. It's called Shetadip. In Shetadip, eternally Gauranga Lila going on. Not that Gauranga is fast. Not that Radha Govinda is first, Gauranga is second, or Gauranga is first, not Radha Govinda is second, not that. Though we know, Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vikriti, Ladini, Shakti, Rasmad, Ekatmanu, Opi, Deho, Vetam, Gato, It is written. Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vikriti, Ladini, Shakti, Rasmad, Ekatmanu, Opi, Deho, Vetam, Gato, Uto. Radha, Gindu, separate, but same, one tattva. That is in the form of Gauranga. So Gauranga Mahaprabhu coming in this form. That doesn't mean Gauranga is first or Radha Govinda second. Or Radha Govinda took birth. Eternally present. Eternal human brain, human human brain cannot, you know, out of comprehension, human comprehension, cannot understand. How possible? Here we find the indication of starting point, but you still eternally present. Follow. So it's Gorogdam and Shetadiva outside, going on Gauranga Lila all the time. Now, this, you know, Vrindavan Dham, I mean, coming here, I mean, Golok, there is Golok Dham. Here is Gokul. What is the different matter? It's Golok. It's Golok Dham. Golok and Gokul, non-different from each other. Try to understand. Golok and Gokul. Gokul means when Golok coming here, we discover Gokul. There are so many cows there, coward boys there. Eh? Follow. We find there. When eternally present, Golok, Golok Dham coming here, manifest. Here in this material world, you should not understand that Gokul Dham is a part and partial, you know, part of this earth. It is not. It is loosely, loosely, not attached. Dhamma coming here to best of Kipa on us. Baldaji Maharaj sent Dhamma. Krishna sending Dhamma. Dhamma coming, but with, you know, Dhamma not touching the ground. It is not a it is not a part of this, you uh, know, in geographical, a geographical chart and map, you cannot find Goluk Dham. Though you can find Maharaj is uh, in India, in Bharat, there is UP, there is one place, there is Mathura. You can discover. But it is not that. By geographical chart and figure, map, you cannot discover. Because it is coming by the mercy of Bhagavan. Eternally present to give us facility. Navadip Dham, you know, Vrindavan Dham, this way they are coming. So, Sandini Shakti, by the manifestation of Sandini Shakti, Bhagavan Balaram is going to reserve the Sandini Shakti. Balaram. So, he is manifesting in the form of Dhamma. So, Dhamma we find here. Now, point is that yesterday I was speaking, it is one, one fourth. I told now yesterday one fourth. One fourth is this material vibhuti. Vibhuti means? You know, vibhuti is the expression of, you know, this kind of ananta brahmana material. There is a one part, one fourth. And that, you uh, know, three parts, they are in Aprakiti Jagat. Only one part. 
we cannot estimate. Follow. Ek path vibhuti. One, one part vibhuti only. The infinity material world. And there is three part there in the transcendental world. And at the same time, point is that this, you know, when that Dharma coming here, we cannot understand. We think, well, devotee also there, or non-devotee also there, everything there, all car going, a shop and a, you know, hotel, all of this is a wrong conception. I already told, those who are material people, they are staying on the net network by Maya. Maya, like a fisherman, putting one net in the river, fisherman, they are going to put one net. And on net, all material people, all demonic characters, they are staying there. Follow, what I say? In material world, when we are going to discover Mathura, Vrindavan, in this material world, we, when we want to discover Mathura, Vrindavan, we cannot see. Why? Why we cannot see? Because there is one piece of cloud to cover up your eyes. A piece of cloud of Maya. A piece of cloud of Maya going to cover up your eyes. Follow what I say. If there is one piece of cloud going to cover Sun God, is it possible to cover Sun God? Follow what I say. One piece of cloud. One piece of cloud. Can, is it possible to? Is it possible for that piece of cloud to cover that Sun God? Eh? Fourteen, fourteen lakhs. You know. If you multiply the volume of R by fourteen lakh. Then you can get the volume of sun god even more than that. How possible? That piece of cloud can cover up sun god? It is a foolish conception. Still people say, sun, is, sun, sun god is not there. Because the sky is cloud, clouded, covered up with dense cloud. But it is not true. Not true. Wrong conception. This concept is wrong. Because that piece of cloud going to cover up your darshan, your eyes, not going to cover up the sun god. Possible? Follow what I say. A piece of cloud going to cover up your eyes, not the sun god. Foolish. Similarly, Dharma is, Dharma is vibhu vastu, infinity. Dharma is vibhu vastu. Dhamma is not there, oh, this much, length and breadth, not there, not there. In Navadip, Dhamma is 16 crores, follow. And Brajadam is 84 crores, follow. How possible? So Dhamma is Vibhu Vastu. So, Dharma can never be covered up. Dharma can never be covered up with Maya. But it is there, Maya inside your heart, and accordingly you are getting backing to see. I told them many times, according to your sanskar, according to your sanskar inside your heart, you can get the darshan of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. Many times I told you, forget. A tiger can see you, and a tiger can see you and find, oh, very nice meal today I'm getting. But when I look at you, I so my nice mother I find. My sweet mother I find. is my darshan. Follow? One idiot people watch you, going to utilize you. Follow? This way, everybody like to utilize each other. Everybody like to overpower. Follow. Each and everybody in the material world wa want to get control over you. You like to control over him. Hard. This way going on. This is one of my magic spell of Maya. So surely a Bibu Vastu 
Dhamma is non-different from Bhagavan, I already told, Anantadeva. So, a piece of cloud can never cover, a piece of cloud can never cover a Dhamma. So, surely, your Maya is there inside your heart, that Maya going to, uh, that Maya is one kind of impediment, that Maya Darshan, you have Maya Darshan, na? you are Darshan, you know, you are getting backing by Maya, you are getting backing by Maya Devi. So, this Darshan is one kind of impediment in the way of your Dhamma Darshan. So, you have money, you can go to Mathura, that's your privilege. But you cannot get Darshan of Dhamma. Dhamma is not so easy, you can get it. So, only by the mercy of pure Guru Vaishnava, you can have the privilege, you can have the privilege to take darshan of dharma. It's only possible. So, Prabhupada Bhakti Muttag was speaking this way, so long as you are here in the material world, so long as you are failure to enjoy 100% keep up pure Guru Vaishnava, you can go in Navadip, you can go to Purishottam Dham, you can go to uh, Vrindavan Dham, you cannot get the facility to see, see Maya. Because what is the difference between Golok and Gokul? There is no difference. There is no difference between Golok, Golok and Gokul. No difference. Yesterday night time, Harikata, I was speaking. Parvati Devi asking to Parvati Devi asking to husband. I mean. Shivji Maharaj, Shankar Bhagavan, you are dancing in the name of Gaur. Who is that Gaur? And what is Navadip? I never heard. Because Parvati Devi is taking birth time to time, but Shankar not taking birth. Shankar taking birth? Not taking birth. Huh. But Parvati Devi taking birth. <laughs> Follow. It's long history. Someday I can speak. At a time, if you have seen, then hodgepodge. You cannot trace out. I know. So, Shankar Bhagavan is giving answer to Parvati Devi. Jang eva Radhika Krishna sa eva Gaura Vigraha. Oh Devi, where Radha Govinda is go. Oh really? Yes. Jang eva Radhika Krishna sa eva Gauri Vigraha. What do you think? Radha Govindu, so long. It's Gaur. Jang eva Radhika Krishna sa eva Gaur vigya. Jang eva Radhika Krishna sa eva Gaur vigya. And what you know, Vrindavan. Jaccha Vrindavan Devi. Jaccha Vrindavan Devi. Navadipancha Tatsubham. Hey Devi, what do you know? Vrindavan Dham, Brajadam, same. Navadip. Mahaprabhu speaking. Hey, Shankar Bhagavan speaking. Jang eva Radhika Krishna, sha eva, affirmative, eva, definite, know it for sure. It's Gauranga. Jang eva Radhika Krishna, sha eva Gauravikra. Jacha Vrindavanan Devi, what do you know? Vrindavan, that is coming in Navadip Dham. Non different from each other. Then why I am watching uh, so many dirty things? But it is uh, when you are doing bhajan. If your if your bhajan is progressing right way, suppose you are doing bhajan, your bhajan is progressing right way, still not hundred percent perfect. Follow. Suppose you are doing bhajan under the guidance of pure devotee. You are doing bhajan right, okay, right direction. But still today, you are not getting 100% perfect darshan. Still then, you can discover, you can discover some contamination in them, but it is not fact. So long as, so long as you are not going to attain your perfection of darshan, till then, some or other way, some or other way, anyway, you, you can have some dirty darshan, little bit. Maybe minimize. You are successfully minimized. But still today, some material darshan, little bit. 
But when the moment you can get 100% perfect darshan, I mean, when you can get Sarup Siddhi, the moment you can get Sarup Siddhi, what do you mean by Sarup Siddhi? Sarup Siddhi means to discover your position. Sarup Siddhi to discover your position in respect to Bhagavan and Dham. What is your seva? Jive Sarup hai Krishna Nitya, that's okay. But you can discover. And mentally, continuously you can do seva of Radha Govindo. Most of the time, Bhaktivinoda Tagore, Bhakti Tagore most of the time used to keep his, keep his eyes closed. Keep his eyes closed. I also like to keep my eyes closed. But I will have to see, because I am not Bhakti Mir Thakur. Even you cannot compare me with Bhakti Mir Thakur. But still, I, I am fed up. I don't like to see anything, material thing. But I am bound to see. Follow. <laughs> Somebody is going to attack uh, Goshala, this, I have to solve. It is called testing of Bhagavan. I don't know the, how much perfection I grow in my darshan. Bhagavan knows. The one kind of false ego, if I say this way, no. I cannot demand. So, Sarup Siddhi means you can discover your position of Atma. Sarup Siddhi means you can discover your Atma with respect to Dharma, Bhagavan, everything. That's the Sarup Siddhi. You can go on doing Seva. Sarup Siddhi. Bhakti Siddhi, two types of Bhakti Siddhi. One is Sarup Siddhi. Sarup Siddhi means Prema Siddhi. You already developed Prema Siddhi. What do you mean by Siddhi? All the time is Siddhi, Siddhi. What do you mean by Siddhi? What do you mean? Eh? For a long time you are hearing thousands of Harikatha. What do you mean? You speak out. What do you mean by Siddhi? Eh? Perfection. You should say more clearly. It is not, it is not perfect. It's okay. Sheva Siddhi. Siddhi means actually Seva Siddhi. What means Siddhi? Perfection is one kind of answer I already give you. But what kind of perfect answer? When I say all your eyes, all your ear, all your tongue, all your all sense organs, busy to do Krishna Seva. It's called Siddhi. When you cannot sit, now we can see, oh, my mind is very bad, I am God. No? This inside room you lock and, you know, going to lament. It's not Siddhi. When you can see ocean of seva, foolish, then ocean of seva in front of you. You cannot see you are blind. Guru Maharaj gone 22 years almost, but Guru Maharaj sending me seva. Eh? Guru Maharaj sending me seva, otherwise I can go to solitary place and do Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. I can do. Guru Maharaj send me seva, countless seva, endless seva. One, one time I am sitting here, Within half an hour, how much seva we are doing? You see, ask him. So, so many publications going. I have to make balance, na? Devotee coming to meet me. If I say, I have no time, it's not good. I have to allow them to come to meet me. I have to talk with them, give some consolation to them. This way I will have to arrange my time. Prabhupada asking, what you are doing night time? You have to do hari no night time. Why you are sleeping? Maharaj, without sleeping eight hours, my body cannot stand. What is the utility of that body who is going to demand eight hours sleeping? Yeah. Like tamaguna. Sleeping means tamaguna. <laughs> sleeping means tamaguna. The more you are sleeping, the more you are growing tamaguna. Physical fitness. <laughs> Follow what I say. So this way, siddhi means seva siddhi. Seva means you have to grow Seva Siddhi. When all your sense organ limb dancing to do Seva. It's called Seva Siddhi. Try to understand the meaning meaning. Very, very deep inner meaning. Follow. So Sarup Siddhi means you are developing Prema. You like to do Seva all the time. Don't like to see. But still, so long you are so long as you are there in this material world, you know. Some kind of material thing can happen around you. But when you are going to leave body, it is called Sharp Siddhi and Bastu Siddhi. It's called Bastu Siddhi. 
Sharusiddhi is okay, but so long as your body is there, somebody can come to disturb you. It's in quite natural. But when you are going to get Vastu Siddhi, then you can leave this body. Now you are going to get your Aprakita Sarir inside. By ear, inside your body is Aprakita Sarir. By the help of, by the help of which you are serving Radha Govinda. But then you are going to leave this body and you live and Vastu Siddhi. We are going to get placement. Placement, permanent place there. Here also you are getting, but Susiddhi is also okay. So this way, this way, yesterday I was speaking, without love, everything is failure. Without love, everything is failure. Without love, everything is failure. Now Jagadananda Pandit, Jagadananda Pandit wanted to go to Vrindavan Dham. Jagadananda Pandit, now we are all separate. We are not under the guidance of Guru Vishnu. But I told you, each and every action should be controlled by Guru Dev. That is the symptom of Siddhi. All my looking, all my hearing, all my talking, all my all physical activity, everything, mental and, phys mental and physical activities. When is going to be controlled by Guru Vishnu? Then it's Siddhi. So, actually, our, I told introduction yesterday how our Jagadananda Pandit, who is the eternal Parshat, who is the eternal Parshat of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, you know, always and every time busy to serve Gauranga, every fraction of second. Each and every fraction of second going to serve Gauranga. It's called Parshat. Parshat means Obhigaman. With Bhagavan you are moving. Where is Bhagavan? Where is Dham? Where is Nam? You are there. All the time you like to serve. All the time you like to serve. Follow what I say. This way, all the time, you, are, you can grow ultimately the Baba of Seva. So Jagadananda Pandit now requesting Mahaprabhu. Jagadananda Bandi is repeatedly requesting Mahaprabhu, you give me permission, you give me permission, I like to go to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu not giving permission. Every day, Prabhu, permit me, I like to go to take darshan of Vrindavan. He is already looking darshan. If I am looking Gauranga, if I am looking Gauranga Charan, is there any shortage of darshan? Gauranga means Vrindavan. But still, border zip, bonded soul. Bonded soul always busy. North Madhaku writing so many things. Tirtha Yatra Parishram Sakali Moner Bham Sarva Siddhi Govinda Charan. North Madhaku writing. You are not singing Kirtan, not doing. Someday I can ask you how many Kirtan you memorize. How many kirtan you can memorize? How, how many kirtan you are doing? Well, how many kirtan you are going to understand? So, North Mataku writing, Tirtha Yatra Parisham. To go for pilgrimage is nothing but physical exercise. To go for pilgrimage is nothing but physical exercise. Why? Because you are born in Iraq. Tithyata Parishram, all your misconception of mind. Tithyata Parishram Sakali Munirbham, all Siddhi you can find unto the lotus feet of Gurudev, Sadguru. All Dhamma, all everything we can find in Gurudev. Follow. All, you know, Sarva Siddhi, all Siddhi you can get. Unto the lotus feet of Gauranga, unto the lotus feet of Govinda. North Madhaku speaking. Tirtha Yatta Parishram, Shakali Manervam, Sarva Siddhi Govinda Charan. All Siddhi Govinda Charan. Follow. Gauranga Mahapu there. 
He is taking permission. Prabhu, give me permission. I like to go to you. Prabhu not giving permission. Prabhu, give me permission. I like to go to the Prabhu not speaking anything. When not Prabhu, they are responding, not giving any response. Ultimately, Jagadananda wanted to find some alternative way. What is that? The senior devotees, Rai Raravananda, Rai Ravananda, Sarup Gosai, you know, Sarpam, what is I taking permission from Prabhu, not you please request for me. Because if I have alternative way, <laughs> because senior devotee, po, po, Mahaprabhu cannot, you know, neglect them. You can request it. For me, you can request that. Prabhu not giving. Prabhu, he likes to go to Vrindavan. He, give, he cannot go to Vrindavan. He likes to go to Vrindavan. He cannot go to Vrindavan. He likes to go to Vrindavan. If he go to Vrindavan, he can cry. Because Mahaprabhu know he is going to Vrindavan. He can go because that time there is no train, plane, no car. I'm moving. The moment he is going to leave Gauranga and going one day walking. One day, no, one hour walking. Gauranga here, one hour gone. I'm not getting with. He can start crying. Where is my Gauranga? He can start crying. Mahaprabhu, no. He cannot, go, he cannot bear separation from me. He likes to go to Vrindavan. That's why not giving permission. Mahapu well aware. Mahapu well aware about this fact. Mahapu well aware about this fact. But what to do? Okay. Then when all senior devotees go, the Prabhu give permission for someday. You can go and come back. Okay, as you like. Then Mahapu says, okay. You can go. When going one hour gone, he started started working. Ah, where is go? He started crying. You know, one, one fraction of second, you know, separation, they cannot be here. Okay, as you like, you go. And before going, Mahaprabhu giving instruction. Well, hear me. You like to go to Vrindavan. Well, you go. But try to obey me. Every fraction of second, you can stay with Sanatan Goswai. Sanatan. Mahaprabhu giving instruction in Chaitanya Jyotamita, you can find. Well, you can go to Vrindavan, but every fraction of second, you can stay with Sanatan. Without Sanatan, you cannot go anywhere. And you can come back very quickly, because all the Brajavasis, their activities, their mentality, their mood, you cannot understand. Mahaprabhu speaking, all their Brajavasis, all their Acharan, all their activities, what they are doing, what they are speaking, why they are doing so, you cannot, you cannot reconcile. Better you can come back. Don't stay. Very quickly you can come back. And wherever you can go, it is my advice, every fraction of second you can stay with Sanatana Gosai. Why, 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 why? What wrong in it? What wrong in it if I go to do Govardhan Parikama without Sanatana? What wrong? That I can explain. Coming two, three, four days there, and I can analytically, you can go mad. Oh, really so? Everything there in Chaitanya Bhagavad, you cannot understand. I read already. I speak one sloka from Bhagavatam, one devotee, you read? Well, I read. I couldn't trace out that this kind of meaning, how they can understand. They can read, they cannot understand. Meaning can come through Guru Vishnu. Understanding can come through Guru Vishnu, not directly. Follow what I say. This way, Jagadananda, Jagadananda Pandit was advised by Sriman Mahaprabhu not to waste time, even fraction of second, without Sanatana. All the time you are, you know, ad, you know, he is getting advice from Mahaprabhu. Okay. Why? Because Sanatana Goswami is a Sammandagyan Odhidevata. Uh, oh, oh, Mane, Sammandagyan, Sammandagyan Acharya. Sammandagyan Odhidevata is Madan Mohan. Madan Mohan is Sammandagyan Odhidevata. Sammandagyan. And Sammandagyan Acharya is Sanatana Gusai. And Radha Govindo is the Obhidyo, Obhidyo Tattva Odhidevata. Obhidyo, Obhidyo Tattva Odhidevata. Adhidevata. And Obhidya Tattva Acharya is 
Rupa Goswami path. Follow. Radha Govinda, worshipable object. Radha Govinda discover Radha Govinda na. This way analytically our Guru Varga teach us. Madan Mohan manifest in front of Sanatan. Govinda Radha Govinda manifest in front of Rupa Goswami path. Follow what I say. And Gopinath in front of Madhu Pandit, but still, Prajan Tattva Acharya in this way say, because Rodinath, Raghunath Das Goswami is a symbol of Prajan Tattva Acharya. Raghunath Goswami is a symbol of Prajan Without Gopinath, without, he don't know anything, know nothing. Whole day and night, Gopinath. So, Prajan Tattva Acharya. This way, Mahaprabhu wanted to indicate Mahaprabhu wanted to indicate, Mahaprabhu wanted to indicate to Jagadananda Pandit, he is Sammandagyan Acharya. So without Sammandagyan Acharya, if you go to do Parikram alone, you can only take trouble to waste your money. Only waste your money. Yesterday I was in Hindi Katha, I see your, he yesterday in Hindi Katha he was speaking. Your dandasan is to take green coconut, to take a malai, you know? Cucumber. Oh, ma, so hot. Hello. You can take green coconut. One devotee, long ago, maybe 15 years back, they are requesting me, Maharaj, you can take green I know you are not taking anything. In. You can, at least you can take green coconut. I mean, here I cannot take. Why? At least you can take no. Why, why, why? I give answer in Harikatha. All green coconut, they are uchista. How ah, uchista? No uchista. There is green coconut. I say it's uchista. Because one devotee asking green coconut, the man cutting and open, making a nozzle, give nozzle, they are eating. After that, there is mala inside. Then same, you know, cutter they are using. They are taking. After the you cut, there is malai. I like to take. So they go and puzzle. Maharaj thinking so deep. All uchista, I cannot take. Green coconut from, from tree, somebody getting and give me delivery in Gosala or somewhere. There I can cut myself. I mean, then I can offer to Bhagavan and take. Not in front of you. You are all uchista. Follow. This is your Dhamparikram. Too much hot, too much cold, <laughs> too much dust everywhere. One dust particle, Brahma asking, Brahma, Sankar, one dust particle from Navadhi. Whereas you are, you know, we are feeling disturbance. A car going, this going, it's uh, naturally. <laughs> this way, so Jagadananda Pandit is going to reach, you know, Mathura and from then onward to Vrindavan Dham, where Sanatan Gosai is staying. That time Sanatan Gosai was, you know, staying in Gokul Dham. When, when Jagadananda Pandit is going to reach, when Jagadananda Pandit is going to reach, you know, you know Vrindavan Dham, at that time Sanatan Gosai Mipad was there in, in Gokul. Now, you can find Gokul. That time Sanatana Gosai is staying, uh, I mean Jagadananda is going to stay with Sanatana Gosai. Sanatana Gosai getting Madhukuri Bhiksha, rice, raw rice, raw, you know, powder of, you know, wheat, you know, everything. And he is making chapati or rice, everything. Sometimes Madhukuri coming. I also used to lead my life this way. Sometimes raw material, sometimes, you know, sometimes Brahman, Brajavasi, they are giving bread. I watch they are very clean or not, if dirty not taking. I am not going to you know, watch their fault, but I know who can maintain. I am not going to find any fault with them, because I know they are much elevated than me. I am speaking just, I select some, some special house and a Brajavasi house from there, I can safely take. Those who are taking onion, garlic, I never take from there. I know, they have some faith in Guru Vaishnava, they love Krishna, then I take it. Anyway, 
This way, Sanatan Gosai sometimes cooking rice, sabji, sometimes cooking, offering. One day, Sanatan Gosai, one day Sanatan Gosai purposely, using, one day Sanatan Gosai purposely, taking one red cloth, red cloth, and putting on, like me, putting on head, like turban, and coming in front of, coming in front of Jagadanda. Jagadanda Whose red cloth this is? Whose red cloth? He is speaking the name of some devotee who is Mayavadi. Ah! Mayavadi! He is taking the pot of rice and going to throw to Sanatana. Huh? You are going to wear the cloth given by, you know, some, uh, some, some, you know, sannyasi who is Mayavadi. Huh? You are the eternal person of Gauranga, you are going to the, then with rice, pot of rice, going to throw. <laughs> then Sunatana Gosai running. Sunatana Gosai flying. Ah! Jagadananda going to beat. Sunatana flying. Oh, very well. Now I have the well, good opportunity to see the love mood, loving mood. Ah, what do you mean? I mean to say the reason, the reason for why I was bound to play this trick. Game, I'm successful. I'm successful to see your Gaur Prema. I purposely put this red cloth to see your Prema. Otherwise, who is going to put, you know, put red cloth on head? To see the love, I'm successful. <laughs> Jagadananda become very shy and going to put the uh, pot of rice and again in the oven. <laughs> this way, this way, loveful relation, always loveful relation going on. They are, they, because there is some Baba, na? not Baba, Prema. Baba is the preliminary stage, but Prema is the extreme stage, the pool of Prema. Those are Prema, there is no Bhagavan outside. They are going to embrace Bhagavan. This Prema, blind. <laughs> Out of prema, extreme prema, they become blind, they cannot see. Radharani going to you know, embrace one tree. It's Krishna. I get Krishna. It is tree. No, it's Krishna. Radharani going to embrace one tree. Ah, I get Krishna for a long time after gapping. It's not Krishna. It's Tamal Viksha. Ash color, you know, dark color. Radharani saying, I get Krishna. Inconceivable. If you understand Dham Tattva, how to do Parikram, you know, what is the mood of Jagadananda, you can go mad. So I wanted to purposely, I could easily read Jagadananda Pembivartha. I wanted to relate this, I purposely I wanted to relate this Jagadananda topics with this Parikram and Dham Tattva purposely. Because this will be one unique discussion. I wanted to relate this Tattva. So Jagadananda Pandit is full of love affair with Gauranga. Even in dream, he always going to love, you know, Gauranga. Even in dream, all the doing time doing seva. So Gauranga Mapu wanted to give instruction to Jagadananda to stay with Sanatana Gosai all fraction of second because Mapu wanted to indicate to all Gauriya devotees. Sanatan is Samanda, Samanda Acharya. Sanatan is Samanda Acharya. Without Samanda Acharya, without Samanda Acharya, without without the help, without the keep up, without the keep up Samanda Gyan Acharya, without the keep up Samanda Gyan Acharya, all your dham parikram everything useless. All useless. So Mahaprabhu wanted to advise him. So Jagadananda is going to take darshan of darshan of all Brajadam by the help of Sanatan Gusai But one thing very important. One thing very important, Jagadananda not getting satisfaction inside heart. Why? He is, he is doing parikram with Sanatan not getting. Because he is feeling separation from Gauranga. Every fraction of seconds, sometimes crying. 
Oh, Gaur, I have taken wrong decision to come here long way. I was, I was very good there with you. Then, in dream, not in dream, in mentally Gauranga speaking, that's why I told you, don't go to Vrindavana. Hello. In mind, Jagadana went crying. I, I cannot feel... I cannot feel your separation. Then Kauranga coming inside, appear inside heart and laughing. That's why I told you, na, don't go to Vrindavan. That's why I was not ready to give you permission, na. You forcefully take permission. Now you suffer. What I can do? Now you suffer. Oh, go, where are you gone? I cannot live without you. He's crying all day and night. Whereas Sanatan Goswami is going to help him to take that son of Giriraj, Maharaj, Ki, Jai Ho. <laughs> Vrindavan, Dham, all everything, but no satisfaction. No satisfaction inside burning. Where is my goal? Goal is complete. Goal is, goal is more practical. Goal is complete. He is crying this way. So this way, day by day, day by day, I like to unveil the mystery. Day by day, I can try to unveil the mystery of the deep relationship of Bhagavan, mutual relations between Bhagavan and Bhakta. What kind of deep relationship? And why Mahaprabhu is speaking that Samandagan Acharya is very important. If you are going to take Diksha from some Guru, but still today, Still today, you are not going to grow any sense of relationship. You cannot discover Krishna is all in all. Krishna is all in all in my life. Krishna is a heart. Krishna is my heart. The day you can realize, then I can say, in true sense, you are going to develop relationship. No, okay. Well, Harikatha is there, I can hear. But Harikatha is not such a thing. Only by hearing Harikatha, <coughs> only by hearing Harikatha from Shukadev Goswami. Parikit Maharaj, it is written, Sharup Siddhi. He is eternally, he is eternal, you know, you know, Parikit Maharaj not Mahabhagavat, but still, in Bhagavata it is written, getting Sharup Siddhi by hearing Harikatha. Diksha means, to develop Sammandagyan. If you are going to hear, Hari, hear Harikatha and going to develop Sammandagyan, loveful relation with Krishna, if you can discover your loveful relation with Krishna, what shortage in your Diksha? And what Diksha you have taken, whereas you have taken Diksha ten years over, now still today you have not going to you know, show any relationship. Follow. What Diksha you have taken? What diksha you have taken, still today you are not feeling any relationship with Bhagavan, Guru, Vaishnav, Dham, not. Whereas what wrong in it? If by hearing Harikatha, if by hearing Harinam, Mahamantra and Panchatattva from some, you know, Guru, Vaishnav, if you are feeling reaction inside heart, at least you are not going to be cheated by somebody. You will have to wait and watch. You have to pray to Nithyananda, please arrange my Guru. Without you, I am feeling. This way, you will have to hear Harikatha with full attention. I mean the inner meaning, I already told in my starting, the inner meaning of this Dham Parikrama is to, is to provide, is to provide extraordinary facility. Is to provide, is to provide extraordinary facility to all common men, to have the chance to do, to hear Harikatha, get the association of pure devotees, and they can understand what is Dhamma. They can get Prasadam, I mean Satsangha. This is called the, this is called the secret meaning of this Dham Parikram. Dham Parikram means, Dham Parikram means all mixed people can be there. Dham Parikram means all mixed people. Half realize or not at all realize, okay, let me do Parikram, they can come. Or uh, they can get the facility to watch you. Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Prabhupada, powerful Acharya, like fire. 
A Vaishnav is like fire. Not like fire, more than fire. It is written in Shastra. I am not making any you know, philosophy. It is written in Shastra. It is written in Shastra. A Vaishnav is more powerful than fire. More powerful than fire. It is written. You know, <clears throat> Vaishnav is so powerful, a Brahman can never be compared with Vaishnav. A Brahman can never be compared with Vaishnav. You know, Sun God can never be compared with Vaishnav. <coughs> Sun God can never be compared with Vaishnav. Vaishnav is more, more powerful. Follow, what say? It is written in Shastra. That Vaishnav is so powerful, you cannot imagine. So, if Vaishnav is not going to speak any Harikatha, still, if you can't, if you come in front of a Vaishnav, you can get some reaction. His acharan, his darshan. That's why it is written in Kirtan. Darshan e pavitra kara it is written. <coughs> Gangar paroshe hai pavitra paran. Banni suryo, banni suryo brahmane bhyo. The slok, I remember. Banni, what do you mean by banni? Banni means fire. Banni suryo sun god. Banni Suryo Brahmane Bhyo Tejyan Vaishnava Shada. Shastra is written. Banni mean? Banni mean fire. Synonym. Synonym, no? Fire, Banni, Anal, all synonym. Like Sun God. Suryo, Mitro, Prabhakar. Not a matter of joke. A Pandit, a, you know, they know everything. They can go on speaking. <laughs> Follow. Synonym. Synonym. You know. So, it is written in Shastra, Banni Suryo, Banni Suryo, Brahmane Bhyo, Tejyan Vaishnava Shata. Always Vaishnava is so powerful. So, Vaishnava can give some kipa. Even without talking. Even without talking. Ramana Chajyo, Ramana Chajyo, I, I know, Madha Chajyo, what I told that day? One sheep is stuck up. I told her, he is praying to Madha Chajyo. Oh, please save me. I know, that, you know, <coughs> that sheep is stuck up, we cannot move further. He is crying. Then Madha Chajyo not speaking anything, only speaking this. From land, long distance, long distance, Madha Chajyo is praying. Then the ship started moving. Follow. I can go on speaking one by one miracle of uh, Guru Vishnu. My Guru Pat Padma. He cured one cancerous disease, blood cancer. Guru Mahaj Bhili. Guru Mahaj never wanted to do, but forcefully, Maharaj, Maharaj, finally do. Cancer or blood cancer, doctors say, no possibility. No father can save. Save him. Bhagavan Das Babaji Maharaj in Kalna, one small boy, a widow mother, widow mother crying in front. Why crying? Because as per horoscope, it is written, today, today is the date when poisonous snack can come and bite that boy and that boy can die. Mother crying. Today is the day. Mother coming with the boy in lap and give, keeping the boy in front of Maharaj and Bhagavan Das Bhajari. If you can save this boy, it is you. At least I like to see my boy is alive. A snake going to bite. Babaji Maharaj is not speaking anything. Okay. That girl, boy was there. That night he is supposed to bite. He is going to get snake bite today. Bhagavan Das Bhajari, a whole night. Doing hurry now. And the boy, Babaji Maharaj putting one chalk, you know chalk? Chalk, putting one marking of chalk. He say, you sit here. My boy, you sit here. And you look at me. Don't fear. 
go on hearing my Harinam. I am doing Harinam. And at midnight, 12.30, the snack comes, shh, shh, coming here. And the snack is there just going to enter the area, cannot enter. There is one marking. Snack is going to... Uh, 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 uh. The boy is crying. Oh, oh. Baba Yama said, don't fear, I'm here. Don't fear, I'm here. Oh, you are speaking, no problem. The snack, shouting, after that gone. That boy going to get new life. Vaishnava can do anything. But they are not going to show anything to you. Because prohibited. Prohibited. So, I like to stop today, time cannot permit. Excuse me, what to... So, I can again discuss this point. Kalaha Kalir Valina, Indya Vairu Varga. Kalaha Kalir Valina, Indya Vairu Varga. Bhaktipat iho kanta kakoti ruddha. Ha ha ko jami ki maham karomi. Chaitanya chandya yodina adhyam ki paam karoshi. Vancha kalpadaru se ke paas indi bhavach. Pati tanu pavana bhavishna bhiyo. Try to hear, try to digest. Follow. Try to digest, then I can promise you, I can save you. Otherwise, I cannot forget it. So much faith I have, confident.